Hello, stellar people. Today, we're going to do, well, we're going to go over my drawing process. It changes as, as I, you know, get better and grow older and find new ways and whatnot. But right now, this is how we're going to end. This is the final drawing. And this, right here, <laughs> is the thumbnail. And I always start with just a little something, something to get started from. And as we see right now, I have the thumbnail and a, a color sketch for how I'm going to take the colors, but I want a better drawing. So I, you know, I take it into computer. I usually draw physical and then scan it and then using Photoshop or you could use clips or whatever computer drawing software you have. I then take uh, the sketch. I can manipulate it. I can blow it up. I can, you know, put it side by side like I'm doing here. But I want a better drawing. We'll call this uh, from the thumbnail to we'll call this a rough drawing. And the rough drawing is, you know, to fix issues and errors and if there are proportions that you want to correct or, you know, if the head's too small or if anything's out of sorts, you can fix it at this stage or, you know, make a new drawing. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I try to keep my process pretty consistent where thumbnail to a, a rough sketch, a rough sketch to a tight pencil phase, and then a tight pencil to maybe, if it warrants it, a clean, a totally clean line, uh, which is outline and details and you know everything included. But right here we have the rough drawing that I, well, I took that digital piece, I printed out, and then, you know, with varying levels of opacity, I can lighten it so that I can draw on top of that. And that's what I'm doing here. So it's another level, another phase, another step to my refining process. And I find this process, it works for me. It might be too many steps for many. <laughs> and even sometimes I, you know, I'll stop it at a, a certain point or I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't care enough, but some drawings don't warrant more levels of detail than you're, you're willing to go for. But if it's like a, an illustration or something of that sort where you just want to polish it up you can do that but it depends on you know your comfort level or what your intentions are for the final piece so let's watch this go and I'll meet you in the next step
So now, with the rough sketch mostly filled in, like I know where I want everything to be, now we can detail it out and really take it to a more polished look. And yeah, it's a, uh, you know, if you have photo reference, you can get that photo reference. If you have like fantasy clothing or any, anything that you wanted to add to the illustration or image, you know, you can do it at this stage because now everything's blocked in. You know where, you know, you pretty much know how the final's gonna look. Now you're just adding details to, you know, pretty it up a bit. So let's pretty this up a bit. And I'll see you in the next stage. I love drawing hair, so that's, this is a cool part. But <laughs> I think we have the, you know, the rough sketch. This is what I would still call the rough sketch phase. I have all of it down and it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. But there's, you know, one more step and that would be the you know, the outlines, the super tight pencils. But first, let's recap. We started with the thumbnail. 
It's loose, it's gestural, but it gives you everything you need to carry forward. And then so you take it to the rough phase. The rough phase is to clean up, tighten up, and to make it you know, closer to your final vision. And from the, the rough to a, well, I wouldn't call this the tight pencil phase, but you know, it's a drawing on top of what was previously done. And now to the right is my final clean lines. I can do whatever I want with this now. I can take it into Photoshop and color it. I can paint it. I can do, you know, whatever else I need. But, you know, the steps are there. The thumbnail in the middle, the left was the rough, and this is the tight pencils. And yeah, the tight pencils, it's all there. And the details, good. There's, you know, you know exactly the character, what's going on, what their look is. And it looks just gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, he looks, he looks good. I like it. I like it. He has everything I want. And so next week, we'll do a watercolor painting of this exact image. But that's my drawing process. That's everything I do for, you know, most of the, well, I wouldn't say most of the art, but art that I want to take to more polished levels. This process is what I do pretty much every single time. So I hope that it helped. I hope you found that informative. And I hope you can, you know, learn from this and make your own awesome pieces. <laughs> so I'll see you next week for the watercolor image of this character, which I'm calling Dog. And I'll see you next week. Take care and keep shining.